Now, let's try to look at this uh, numerical that is involving excess of loss reinsurance and uh, within this, how do I typically compute the retention limit, right? Okay, loss amounts under a class of insurance policies follow exponential distribution. Quick density function lambda e power minus lambda x and the distribution function 1 minus e power minus lambda x. Fair enough. Mean is 100. The mean of uh, exponential distribution 1 by lambda, it is equal to 100. So directly it is coming out that my lambda is 0 0.01. Great. The insurance company wishes to enter into an individual excess of loss reinsurance arrangement. Retention level M. Set such that 8 out of the 10 claims will not involve the reinsurer. So there is an 80% chance that the insurance company itself will settle the claim. What does that mean? If I am looking at uh, M, when I am trying to integrate the density function between 0 to M, which is the retention limit, I should get that this integral should be equal to 0.8. Straightforward. What does it mean? Okay, 0 to m lambda e power minus lambda x. 0 0.01 e to the power of minus 0 0.01 x. dx, this is 0.8. So now I can very well solve. Right, uh, this integration is nothing but 0 0.01 e to the power of minus 0 0.01 x by minus 0 0.01 and this entire thing is getting integrated between m and 0. So it is very much coming out like minus of e to the power of minus 0 0.01 m minus e to the power of 0 is 1. So 1 minus e to the power of minus 0 0.01 m is directly coming out as 0.8. So e to the power of minus 0 0.01 m is 0.2. Minus 0 0.01 m is log 0.2. So m is directly coming out as log 0.2 divided by minus 0.01. So directly I can compute the retention limit M as log 0.2 divided by minus 0 0.01. Log 0.2 divided by minus 0 0.01 resulting in M being around 160.94. So if the retention limit is set somewhere around 160.94, there is a 80% uh, chance of retaining the claim and 20% chance that it can be transferred to the reinsurer. A straightforward calculation. Alright. For a given claim, let XI denote the amount paid by the insurer and XR the amount paid by the reinsurer. So calculate XI, expected value of XI. Fair enough. Now, if I have to calculate expected value of Xi, there are two cases. One, if the claim amount is anywhere between 0 and M. If the claim amount is between 0 and M, he is paying exactly X. X times F of X dx. Right? F of X is becoming 0 0.01. 0 0.01 times e to the power of minus 0 0.01 x dx plus the second part uh, uh, when it is greater than m it is directly it's m that is getting paid and what is the probability that it is greater than m I can directly take the probability is the probability that it is greater than uh, m we know that it is 0.2. Or, in a better way, I can very well uh, write M times the probability that uh, the claim would be greater than uh, M is e to the power of uh, minus 0 0.01 M. 
So I'll directly write this part as m times e to the power of uh, minus 0.01 m. Whereas this one, if I have to integrate, okay, x times, what is the integration of this? 0 0.01 e to the power of minus 0 0.01 x by minus 0 0.01. This entire thing is getting integrated between m and 0 minus integral of the derivative of this which is 1 times the integration of this 0 0.01 times e to the power of minus 0 0.01x by minus 0 0.01 dx. Alright, so this is not there, this is going up. So, it is very much working out for us. The first part, okay, if I am taking this out as well, it is coming out as m e to the power of minus 0 0.01 m. The 0 is not playing any role. Minus, or minus is also going up. So, this is plus integral e to the power of minus 0 0.01 x dx. And here we are having m e to the power of minus 0 0.01 m. And of course here we have a minus as well, right? Here we have a minus. So these two are going off for us. So I can very well take it as integration between 0 to m e to the power of minus <coughs> 0 0.01 x. So directly I will uh, take it as e to the power of minus 0 0.01 by minus 0 0.01 entirely getting uh, integrated between m and 0. So which is minus 100 times e to the power of minus 0 0.01 m minus 1. So, 100 into 1 minus e to the power of minus 0 0.01 m. This is what is becoming the expected value of xi. Expected value of xi is coming out as 100 times 1 minus e to the power of minus 0 0.01 times m. m is what we have computed here. And this entire thing is getting worked out to 80 and which means the expected value that is being paid by the reinsurer is working out to overall expected value minus the expected value that is paid by the insurer coming out to 20. So 80 is the expected claim payment by the insurer and uh, 20 is the expected value of the claim payment by the Reinsurer. That's a simple uh, way we can compute the retention limit and even uh, so it's a process that really needs to be uh, comfortable with that based on the distribution we should be able to use the integration appropriately to compute all these calculations. Alright.